We see their faces every day. We're by their side as they succeed and sometimes struggle at school. But how well do we really know our students? What about what goes on outside of school? How do we know how to help them if we don't have a full picture of their challenges, as well as the positive influences in their lives? In Kansas, we're fortunate to have a powerful tool for measuring students' attitudes, thoughts, and behaviors. This valuable window into student life is called the Kansas Communities That Care Student Survey. They're not really willing to share a whole lot in class. I think that the survey is a great opportunity for the kids to feel safe in an environment, to sh really share how they feel, and for us as educators to get some really great feedback on things that maybe we're doing well and maybe some things that we need to work on a little bit better. The surveys to me are valuable because they give you the perception of the youth. We're not asking adults, we're asking the students themselves how they feel about the different substances or problematic behaviors. Since 1995, the Southeast Kansas Education Service Center at Greenbush has administered this nationally recognized comprehensive survey free to Kansas schools on behalf of the Kansas Department for Aging and Disability Services. Given to 6th, 8th, 10th, and 12th graders, the survey the survey looks at four areas of students' lives, school, community, family, and peers. It monitors adolescent problem behaviors and the environmental factors that put young people at risk or protect them from developing those behaviors. It's nice to have the data for our coalition, for our community. Our problems are different than they are in Kansas City or Wichita or Topeka, so it's nice to have that data to relate directly to our communities. Schools like yours and others who help children rely on the survey to plan programs and activities and secure funding. As a building administrator, we take this data and we share the data with our staff, with our parents, with our site council, and with our safe and supportive schools committee. And with all those different groups, we are collaborating, trying to look at the data and saying, what are the needs of our students? The staff at Greenbush provides year-round assistance at no charge, including website training, data analysis, customized reports, and guidance in using the information in your school. It's important that we as schools take this type of surveys for data collection. We know today it's all about data, and so many of our schools and communities rely on some grant funding, particularly in the areas of safety, bullying, and drug and other prevention use. Unlike other student surveys, the KCTC's annual making it easy to track trends, and Kansas was one of the first states to administer the survey. It was carefully designed and research-based for valid and reliable results. It has publicly available state and county data and password-protected district and building data. The information is easy to access and use. And the survey has high rates of participation, something state prevention providers are working hard to maintain. Today our schools are always strapped for money and we're also looking at how that we can maximize our students' potential. We know that this is a tool that has a long track record of building data that it can be then compared not only within our own building, but with our district, our county, and the state. The survey is also more comprehensive than most. You can find out answers to specific questions, monitor progress in certain areas, and even discover problems you were unaware of, such as the spike in prescription drug use or bullying. You'll find many uses for this important, anonymously provided information, including needs assessment, targeting resources, evaluating the success of programs, applying for grants, reporting, and PR and outreach. The data and reports are extremely useful to us. We use it in grant writing, grant reporting, we just received a major drug-free communities federal grant because our school district takes the CTC survey. That's their measurement. And Greenbush, we've worked with them to customize the data and reports for our needs. The survey looks at both negative and positive factors in students' lives. With all the time pressures on schools, why is it important to find out this information? Because research shows there's a direct correlation between these risk and protective factors and academic performance, including state assessments. Using reliable, current data, schools can channel their efforts into reducing risk factors and boosting protective factors. Education changes and evolves all the time, but one thing is always true. Your time and resources are limited. This survey is a useful tool to help you with annual assessment, evaluation, and strategic planning. If you talk to uh, most schools, they, they are not afraid to invest money in scouting football teams to see what the other team is doing. They aren't afraid of checking on their own data, their own players on the 40 time of their bench press. They have no idea what their behaviors are outside of school with alcohol, drugs, bullying. Here's an opportunity for free, it doesn't cost a dime to be able to look at what's happening with things that are going to directly affect these kids' lives that are going to have much more impact on their life than their bench press. 
If you haven't given the survey in your district, or have but didn't know how to put the results to use for you and your students, please contact the team at Greenbush. If you have, thank you. On behalf of all the students and families who have been helped, when our young people get the support they need, the entire community benefits. Your participation is critical. Our schools make this survey possible. We hope you'll help keep this valuable resource going strong. For more information or to register, go to kctcdata.org.